I, I think there is a, a parallel between what the bacteria are doing and, and what happens to, to humans exposed to stresses like radiation. But uh, the, the uh, single-celled organisms are essentially different in how they respond to stress because uh, 20 generations of uh, bacteria would be just a few days and so they uh, couldn't possibly be uh, evolving new uh, DNA sequences to, to make new uh, functional proteins in such a short time. Okay. Uh, the radiation uh, degrades proteins, so it, <clears throat> it tends to simply knock out functions uh, when it's damaging the DNA. And the, the uh, bacteria that died uh, had their... Uh, DNA so damaged they, they had lost function and the ones that survived uh, simply didn't lose the function but they uh, uh, their um, defense processes were activated and so what they were getting with each generation was uh, uh, an intensification of the defense reactions that ordinary bacteria have and uh, Things like bacteria, yeasts, and uh, protozoa, uh, when they're under stress, they can either decide to reproduce faster, uh, live more intensely, and, and divide more quickly uh, if their genes are still working, or they can uh, go in the direction of uh, sort of dehydration and uh, for, for radiation, uh, forming a spore. Uh -huh and uh, eliminating a lot of water right. uh, makes the, uh, the DNA very resistant to radiation because uh, uh. water is part of uh, the hydroxyl uh, radical is what uh, destroys the DNA. And so without any water uh, tied to the DNA, it, it's very resistant. So that's why spores can live for so long then in the desert or... Yeah. Huh. And, and so... Uh, if, if humans tried to do that, the cells <laughs> under stress would uh, either multiply uh, very rapidly and that would be a cancer, or, or they would uh, uh, go into something worse than hibernation in, in which they simply dried up and uh, were, were like a, a suspended mummy-like uh, existence. Okay, so, uh, so it, it just doesn't work for humans. Got it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same idea is that uh, we have uh, ways of handling damaged genes or threats to the genes. And what people do, or animals, is to uh, uh, kill the whole cell when, uh, the, uh, when the organism senses that the DNA has been damaged beyond the capacity to uh, repair it. Uh, so if it's happening very fast, uh, the cells will turn over quickly, but uh, to f not form a cancer, they have to uh, uh, let the damaged ones, uh, sort of a triage, uh, beyond a certain uh, degree of damage, they have to let the cell die. Right. And the quicker it can die, uh, the uh, more material is available for stimulating cell, uh, stem cells to replace it. Huh. Uh, so the, um, uh, I think a, a major uh, factor in aging is that things interfere with that whole process of uh, either repairing or letting the cells die quickly to be replaced. And uh, in old age, uh, the process of, of cell death is retarded. <laughs> Interestingly, the uh, <laughs> cells become old, but they can't decide <laughs> what to do, and, and so they slow down the whole organism, metabolically slows down, and in that slowing down process, uh, they have some uh, undesirable products like uh, lactic acid that uh, cause problems for the whole organism instead of just dying and getting it over with. 